I hear you started your temptations. Yeah. Why all the time I thought Otis started it? I don't know. It was Otis had Otis William in the distance. That's right. And then I brought a half and he brought a half. Okay, that's what and happened. And we made, yeah. All right. I brought Paul and he brought Albert, Albert's mm -hmm. Bryant. That's right. And Paul and I were just much better than them too, so. Yeah, we yeah. was the lead singers and they were the background guys. That's right, sure. So that made my half look better than his. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, welcome to the Music Like Network. And yes, the title you are reading is, Who Really Started the Group? Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, everybody know that Otis started the group. But from watching this video, I kind of was like, what made Eddie say all this? Then I started to think about it very carefully about it. And after thinking about it for a little bit, I felt what Eddie was coming from when he said that he started the group. See, before the group got together, Otis' group before fell apart. It was just Otis and Melvin. And I don't really count Al Bryan because he left the group with the other members of Otis' last group. See, when Eddie called Otis about doing the group thing, he looked at it as our group fell apart and your group fell apart, so let's join together. See, in Eddie's eyes, he felt, I brung my half and you brung your half, and together we start this group thing together. Now, Eddie also felt him and Paul were more viable than Otis and Al Bryan when it came down to singing. The way I see it is, yeah, Otis got them in a position when he got offered a audition from Barry Gordy, but without Paul and Eddie dancing and singing, I don't think they would have got the deal with Motown at all. And to me, I felt Eddie had a valid point on why he started the group. But I also can see why some think Otis started the group. I mean, Otis had leadership skills that Eddie didn't have. He kept the group accountable when things went bad. He also was more reliable when it came down to a leader of the group. And if you want to go by what I said earlier when I said Eddie felt his side of the group was better, well, look at it like this. When Paul started getting sick and couldn't perform and stuff like that, it hurted Eddie on what to say or do because on his end, he couldn't say much because on his end wasn't strong like Otis' side of things. Even though Melvin was going through his issues with arthritis that could have stopped him from performing as well, but didn't. But Otis' side of the group was together and Eddie wasn't. Plus, I believe Barry had Otis back more than Eddie. I mean, Eddie himself even said that he felt Barry Gordy never liked him and stuff like that. Some said that could have been because of Diana Ross, but that's for a whole different video. But maybe that could have played a part. I believe there's a lot of things that was going on with the group we don't know. The thing that's crazy that people don't know is that Eddie wanted to leave the group way before he actually left. But I believe what made him stay with the group was because of Paul. Once Paul couldn't perform at all and was gone from the group completely, that is when Eddie decided to leave the group, period. I just wanted to have a great conversation about this because when I saw the video of Eddie saying that he started the group, it caught my attention. Another thing I was wondering about that might be off subject, but I always was wondering how would the other members of the group, like Eddie, Paul, Melvin, and David, would have thought of the Temptation movie? I'm curious on what they would have said and the things that they felt was true and wasn't true, you know? In so many ways, it's like, the movie is from Otis point of view, you know, but, you know, I was just always wondering about that because they wasn't here to see the movie, you know, maybe if they were here, we would have heard their side of the story, but the movie was great either, either way. But so you guys tell me what you think about when Eddie said that he started the group first. Um, just leave a comment below and watch other videos from Music Like Network. See you next time.